we in this country have been talking a lot the last maybe 10 years or so. We have been identifying all the social ills in Barbados. We have been saying that the young people is deviant, the young people is doing everything that is wrong. Um, we ourselves forget sometimes that we were young as well, and we did some things that our peers might not have liked. And on reflection, we might think that, that um, we had no way of doing that at the time. But certainly, the issue that was highlighted by Bella Dooms, the children leaving school uncertificated, is an issue that we have to pay attention to. That has pill off effects. And we are seeing it manifest in our societies every day. The fact that persons cannot um, reason, the fact that, that they, 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 they have no sense of, lo of logic, you can see why the reaction is one of violence, one of, of pure distress. Um, they feel that no one likes them. And so they, they do some of the most horrendous things and then we sit back and say, um, uh, this should not be happening. But then again, what happens? Um, children children get in a brawl in, in Bastan and, and adults adults um, will take pictures of them and put them on, on, on Facebook. And then people will, will respond to that. Years ago, we would not have done that. We would have tried to break up the, the two children and try to see if you can talk sex into them. But the society has gone in a different direction. But we cannot sit back and throw our hands in the air and say, we can't do anything about it. I think NUPW has a social responsibility. We have always recognized that. We certainly do not, um, our relationship with our members do not stop when they lose their job or when they retire. We have a, a greater, far more social responsibility in that. This country is crying out for a number of things. And one of the things that this country is crying out is for all of us to stand on deck and show leadership. And I think NUPW and Sergeant Gore this morning is demonstrating that we are willing to stand up and say enough is enough. Let us try to pull back this country that we saw in us. Again, it's a wonderful experience. I, I feel more, even more alleviated now that we are producing a program that can help the youth of this country. And that is what this is about. So once again, on behalf of the National Union of Public Workers, we say thanks to you and Sergeant Gore. Main struggles. People do not know to resolve resolve conflict. I speak almost as children every school I've ever been at. I speak often at full assembly about the American Wild West. I'm a big fan of westerns, but one of the things you always say, you you step on my toe or you wink at my door. Let's meet in the street. Somebody dead. Somebody <laughs> move on. You know, the come the significant difference between them and us is they had no education. Education should be teaching us to think more uh, critically and more sensibly. But secondly, <clears throat> many of us, they, 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 there were opportunities provided for many members of our families in England, United States of America, and Canada in particular, where they went as bus drivers, domestics, game kind of, so lots of low skill um, opportunities that did not require certification. My mother went as a domestic working in somebody's home, you know, and she, she didn't have a single certificate in her life. Now, those opportunities are drying up, but there's still opportunities for some of our people to go to those places, but you must have some form of certification, some form of, of, of an educational profile. And, I, and so my mind to this, this second chance is Academy is doing two things, helping in the social fabric of our country and, and also helping persons to be in the position to, to grab hold opportunities that take us over to that funnel a lot of money back into this country. I remember getting a check almost every week being sent to my grandmother on money order I'm going to the post office for that my mother sent back going to the post office to get change to say, give my brother and myself lunch money and that kind of stuff. Those opportunities are there, but you have to be at a higher level of education to grab them at this stage. Because the hundred books I've given before with the, with the, with the workbook, mm -hmm. which I, uh, uh, well, I know Margot will not allow me to let the weekend go with she had me around, you know, she had a real <laughs> task, which so she did it easy. But on top of that, you know, I, I, like I said, I've written another book 
which has been endorsed by former chief education officer who did it forward, Randy Griffith Watson, <coughs> and it was the feature speaker at the launch with the minister, Ron Jones. And it's called my personal preparation guide for combination with answers. It has all, where's the work that has only English? This has a complete program with answers, with questions, with sample tests in both English and mathematics. And I will be making a donation to every person who comes to the, to, to the, to, to the, the NPW combination class as well. They will not have to pay for these things. Yeah, I work. Mm -hmm. Where I work for the and the statistics are there for the for, for the past five years, more than sixty percent of the children have left without a single certificate. And and, and, and I would say more than eighty of those that were left with single certificate never even got a chance to say, which I think is a, is, is one of the challenges to me that I I'm not afraid of, to, to take up. But that's one. Um, secondly, you know I I am not sure what we mean by this pass rate thing. There's no such thing, and people talk about this, there's no such thing as a pass rate or a cut-off mark for combination. It just does not exist, contrary to what people say. You know, it, and I will give you an example. Uh, let's say Queen's College admission is usually top school. Queen's College taking 75 girls and 75 boys. No matter where that last child comes, that's where the, uh, uh, that's where the cut-off mark is. I, the cut-off mark is not a set cut-off mark. You have to get 85 or 80. That doesn't exist. When you get my when I get my seventy fifth child, that's what it is, and that's what the seven. Well, invariably, the girls fill up before the boys. So you may find the girls last the seventy fifth girl got eighty eight, but the seventy fifth boy got eighty two. That happens all the time, uh, and so and, and it go it, it, it goes on like this. So it is based on parental choice and child and student performance. Um, now the other thing in terms in terms of a password within the school system itself. We may talk, like when I was at school, you had to get 50% to be promoted. You cannot live like that anymore. And it's a very simple reason, you know. Every year, we have a, near 4,000 children doing the conventions exam to enter secondary school. Every year. And the ministry sits down and says, we are sending 100, well, they don't say like that, 150, 75 girls, 75 boys, or 80 girls, 80 boys. At, at Parkinson's school, we get, we start with 90 girls, 90 boys. Invariably, uh, after things don't work out someplace or something, or somebody didn't do this, and yet, but we end again with 204. Now, if we are going to be saying um, we will promote children only to get 50%, 40%, and you recognize a year out of, the, out of those 200 children, let's say 60 do not get that pass mark. Are you going to keep them down? There's no room to bring the others they bring in. Because the ministry is not going to say we're going to reduce your intake by 60. And they have that mass blockage. And the school can only accommodate so much. So um, unfortunately, and, and so this is where uh, Mark's point may be a good one. Unfortunately, promotion must take place almost carte blanche every year. At every year group. You may, the, 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 the most you can find a school keeping back in maybe 5 or 6. And sometimes 10. Otherwise, there is no room to put the children. And in, and in, and in some cases, like most schools I know, they, they try to establish a, 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 lower, a lower fifth. I mean, upper fifth, sorry. Um, that will also create some other blockages. So that, that is why, seeing that we cannot, in many schools, have that upper fifth, that is exactly where this NUPW Second Chances Academy will, will play as an important part. Because if a school can only have, let's say, 900 children, 900 children, and you're having 200 somebody come, and, and you're having 200 coming every year, you have five farms, that's 1,000 already. That's 1,000 already. So that, that's what attrition takes place someplace at fourth form. You know, and you, you don't bring back as many. And so if you cannot take those up first, like in many, most of us when we went to school, I don't know, mm -hmm. had two years in fifth form. Yeah. I, I, just, I just had a year and a month, but <laughs> but but I wasn't kicked or anything like that. But 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 because of that, there every year there's a mass of children being put on the streets. But they, where are they going? They're going on the block. They're going back in both hitting. But if they have a place like AUBW, a where they come for this second chance to hey, we're not idling. We're trying to improve our law. There's an opportunity here for us. I think this is this speaks volumes and. I mean, the disassociation in the BW and Sajikor is really a watershed in my, in my, in my mindset. <laughs>